Okay, so dragging decimals onto the number line. So we've got zero and we've got one. Then this one is the same as 1.0, it's the same as 1.00, it's the same as 1.00000. So we've got 0 0.56, 0 0.900, 0 0.75, 0 0.125, 0 0.6. So this 56 is the same as 56 out of 100, but this 900 is the same as 900 out of 1,000. So remember in the previous video, we discussed that if there's two numbers after the decimal, it's out of 100. If there's three numbers after the decimal, it's out of 1,000. There's one number after the decimal, it's out of 10. But that's not really helping us here if we've got different denominators. So the easiest way is to make sure that they're all the same. And the easiest way is to have them all at three decimal places. So now that we've revised that, this is now 560 out of 1,000, 900 out of 1,000, 750 out of 1,000, 125 out of 1,000, 600 out of 1,000. So now that they're all the same, we can drag them with the knowledge that the biggest number will have to go closest to one and so on. So 900 is probably the easiest. 900 out of 1,000 is getting pretty close to 1,000. 560 is just past halfway. 600 is a little bit further along. Might just put it up higher. Oh, or I could just do what I told the students to do and use this one. 0 0.600, 0 0.6, 0 0.750 is closer, it's about three quarters, well it's exactly three quarters along isn't it? And 125 out of a thousand is quite small. And there you have it. So what I re recommend you do is to make sure that all of these decimals have the same amount of decimal places and the way you can do that is put a zero at the end to make sure they're all the same. All right, thanks very much. Hope it helps.